Matthew Holt, my string of interviewing people in front of beautiful European landmarks continues. Guten Abend, meine Damen. Where are you today? <laughs> That's my English German accent from all those war movies I saw. Yeah, I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm in Berlin, and you're going to find out why on this episode of Health in 2.0. All right, Jess, what is that thing behind you? It's very pretty. It is the Deutschterdam. Of course it is. Is that a church? Of course it is. It's beautiful. It's, it's like Berlin. Berlin is a lovely city. Um, what are you doing in Berlin, Jessica? I am here for the Bayer G4A Accelerator Rebooted um, party that's happening on Thursday. And so this is like they're announcing which startups are going to get deals from the mothership in Bayer. We're going to actually be in their Berlin office here um, to meet some of the executives, and Glenn Tolman from Lovongo is doing a fireside chat with Eugene, which should be that, hilarious. That guy gets around. They, they had some news this morning, which may come up. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. They send uh, a big well, PO. Well, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, send a big PO. Well, other right PO's, maybe. Should we, should yeah, we, it's we do this? It'll be interesting for Glenn to be there to talk about Lovongo now that they just bought one drop. So let's see how that goes, people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we do this whole, uh, I want to do one other thing? Yes. All right, let me see if I can find. Are you ready? Get your timer. Oh my God, this episode is all Walmart and fertility, baby. Two minutes of Walmart and fertility starting now. Okay, we'll start with fertility. Progeny files for an IPO. What is this? Who's invested in it? How's it going to go? Ah, God, this is, this is amazing. So I was blown away this was going on. So Progeny, this is Dave Schlanger, who was at WebMD, went over there, with, and it's like a, quite a new company, uh, Fertility Benefits. It's done 100 million last year in revenue, 100 million, over 100 million in the first half of this year. Um, it's a bit, and it's profitable. Insane for health. It's a health benefit <laughs> what? thing. What it's basically doing is putting the, uh, it, it's improving the quality of IVF, and fertility services, for rich people at big companies, you know, who tend to be women who are getting on a bit, who getting on a bit, there's the wrong word, who are older, who are having issues with fertility, and they have improved the rate of uh, live births and improved, decreased the number of multiple births and decreased the cost, therefore, of fertility treatments. Doing well. IPOing soon, overall, interesting. In this post we work era, how super exciting is that? A profitable IPO. Okay, so Walmart. I have uncovered what I might believe to be a huge conspiracy theory on how they are sneaking in to all aspects of health tech and nobody's really noticing. So they just announced this expansion of Grand Rounds and then with the expansion of Grand Rounds, they're partnering it up with Doctor On Demand and HealthScope to offer telehealth to their employees. This comes on the tail end of them announcing that Sam's Club is gonna offer $1 visits um, to its members using 98.6. And there was another announcement about Embold Health and they're launching some sort of initiative in the Southeast to provide cheaper care to people down there, employees. What is this deal with Walmart? Matthew Holt, is this gonna be Amazon hold my beer? Like what is happening? I think so, next question. Natalis raises what, five million? Halle Teco's new company? What does this do? Oh, you just got it in there. Well, we're back to fertility. Now, you told us all about Walmart. I tell you. So, back to fertility. So, Halle Teco, uh, who seems to have got it all wrong, I think you're supposed to do a startup, operate well, and then become a venture capitalist. She founded Rock Health, became a venture capitalist, uh, done a lot of angel investing with her, her husband, Jeff Hamaker, ex Facebook. And now, has started their own startup. It's to do with fertility. I think she had a baby relatively recently, went through a lot of issues. I don't know if she went through issues, but obviously there's a lot going on. I think Nadalist is gonna send out kind of like a care box initially, direct to consumers, uh, raise $5 million, none of her own money. Right? There's all uh, other um, leading female VCs, I think Aileen Lee from uh, Cowboy Ventures and others were in there. So it looks pretty exciting. And I assume that this is gonna be like the front end of a direct to consumer service for people trying to get pregnant and uh, deal with fertility and pregnancy issues. Um, interesting, watch that space. Probably will bump up to where Progeny is going to as well. 
And then we even have like split spin offs, like our friend Jen Lannan, who has, uh, what's freeze. that thing called? Freeze. Freeze health. Like egg freezing, freeze health, right? So there's all kinds of stuff going on in that, that uh, fertility baby era. Yep. Um, the only problem with this is that these babies grow up to become adults, and God knows. <laughs> Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. We All may right. be looking at somebody who was awakened by his eight-year-old about five times last night and she jumped on top of the That's not an adult. <laughs> so what happens uh, after They the, grow after up. The a bit, there's a period between when they get born here, like well, happy having a baby, and they leave the house, and most of that period is expensive and painful. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you one more question for those who may have been following along with the drama, just in case? Yes. Did your washer dryer ever get delivered from Best Buy? Oh, Best Buy made it there. Six time lucky. I need to tweet out the story. Thank There's God. Oh my God. It was, there was so a lot hard. of customization. They actually like to change the door. The way they brought it in and brought it out is very, I should, I should write the third article. I wish there was a video we could watch of that, if only. There's some photos. Oh there are some photos. Oh, photos. Great. Can't wait to see I mean, it's, uh, it, the level of customization that they're going to have to do to do, you know, equipment for old people monitoring their health in the home is going to be pretty extreme. Yeah, washer dryer for old people is pretty hard too, huh? <laughs> oh, the saga! I had a yes, my tenants, my tenants now can have clean clothes. First thank time. God, thank God. All right, so if you want to check out the pictures of this beautiful washer dryer, you can just head on over to Twitter and check out at Bolty Boy. If you want to see more of my European tour, <laughs> you can go. You can come to my Twitter feed, and that's at Jess Tomasa. And to see more of this disaster as it unfolds in two minute, four minute, seven minute increments, now you can tune in to. Um, Health in 2.0 on YouTube. Just search it and subscribe, or you can subscribe to the Healthcare Blogs newsletter at thehealthcareblog.com. Yeah? It? Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just. I was waiting for like a last word from you. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, I'm, I'm highly amused. The washer dryer is done. I am going to Boston next week. I think week. that you're secretly. Hang on, no, 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 no. I'm saying something important. I'm going to Boston next week. It's the Society for Participatory Medicine conference. Please come to that. It's cheap. It's great. On um, Tuesday of next week, it's the 14th, and then there's Collected Health Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in Boston, which I'll be at some of all of if I remember whatever press pass. Yay! Well done. All right, guys. We'll see you next episode. Thanks for watching.